Netcode doesn't exist. That's a globalist conspiracy. The only good news is that because the Earth is flat, running an Ethernet cable across the whole thing is not that hard. It's just flatland. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, sewing. You just got to go from one side back and forth like this all the way down until you got the whole thing. Good old... <laughs> See, if the Earth was a globe, there's no way we could have good net code because it's like a circle. How are you going to get an Ethernet cable around a whole circle? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, the reason Japan's net code is the best is that they're at the center of our flat Earth. <laughs> so the Ethernet cables, when they go left or to right, they pass over Japan in the center. It's the fastest direct area approach. Ah, oh, flat earthers, man. What a strange thing to be mad about. You know what I would pay for? I would pay for a show where you send flat earthers into orbit and have them fly in a ship around the earth and just f watch their reaction. Could you imagine the excuses they'd come up with? I'd pretend the earth is flat for a free trip to space. All right, that's fair. Isn't Flat Earthers mostly just a meme? I think so, but I also think that Iconic is very kind for dropping the tomb on. <laughs> The flat earth joke got you that good. I'm sure that it was a meme or a lot of it is a meme, but there's probably there's some believers out there, right? A anything that just doesn't make any sense, people will believe in. Delay-based netcode is better than rollback. Like, there's some claims that are clearly like, whoa, any normal human would just believe that this fake weird claim is not true. But so there's some people out there, you know that that's what they really think. That's when you just stop. You know when like you're at a family dinner and you're eating and you're waiting for shit to pop off. You're like, wait, looking around, waiting for the explosion. And your uncle's just like, can't stand those goddamn fucking rollbacks. And you're like, oh God, here it goes. And just fucking shit starts flying. The Flat Earth Society has determined that Mars is round. Why didn't I see that coming? That's the, that's the kind of plot twist I can check. They're verified on Twitter. How come the Flat Earth Society is verified on Twitter, but I'm not? What the fuck, man? They're a society from all around the globe. I think you mean across the globe. It's The globe is flat in this case, so it's not around the globe, okay? It's not, it's not even a globe, shit. It's all across... Uh, it's all across the world. Is world circular? I don't know. Across the plane. The, the great... The great plane that is our Earth, and I'm looking forward to thanking our plain old friends, Astros, for dropping the four months. Thanks very much. These insensitive globe heads? Is that what we're called? You motherfuckers are adding me in Flat Earth Society tweets? Come on, man. My Twitter is a fucking great place until you guys brought this into my life. The Harlem Plane Trotters doesn't hit as hard. <laughs> How do we even get on this topic? Netcode is a globalist conspiracy, yes. Yeah, because I imagine your understanding of how internet works would be so weird if you thought the Earth was flat, right? That would be so weird. You would think all kinds of weird shit. The moon is the real Earth. Earth is the moon. Oh, boy. They're, these takes are... Their brain. My brain is swelling against my cranium. It hurts my head because I'm learning so much information. If the Earth is round, how come Australians don't fall off? Checkmate. I don't know. That's a great question. <laughs> birds aren't real. <laughs> That's the best one so far. Birds aren't real. What? <laughs> this whole time? What are they? They're spy machines from the government. I should have known it.